Hi, I'm Diego Munoz, and this is our Tokai article, Evaluating Engagement in Technology-Supported Social Interaction by People Living with Dementia in Residential Care. Our team is from the Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia. This article is about the evaluation of a better visit, an app for people living with dementia that is available for tablet devices on the App Store and on Google Play. This app was designed for shared interactions between the person living with dementia and a visitor, and it has eight collaborative and competitive games. In this work, we evaluate how people engage in social interaction when using this app. So, when we define this aim, we ask ourselves, how do we define engagement? When reflecting, reading, and then getting to this definition, we saw the importance of having and creating that definition for this project. So, we can say comfortably that we believe that each research project should define engagement in their particular context when working with people living with dementia. In our case, we focus on two aspects of engagement. First, on engagement as a shared interaction with the app, and secondly, on engagement as interactions that are triggered by the use of the app. The fieldwork of this project consisted on an iterative co-design process with four care homes, where three of them were the initial iterations of the co-design of the app, and the fourth used a stable version of it. In each care home, the team worked for at least three months, and there were bi-weekly visits for over 18 months. For the data analysis, we used motivational modeling. This is a methodology that organizes concepts in functional goals that represent what a system should do, quality goals that represent what a system should be like, and emotional goals that represent how the stakeholders would like to feel. The diagram also includes the different stakeholders and some concerns or issues that they could have. So our analysis procedure was similar to other qualitative works. Uh, but it was extended with the motivational modeling approach. We coded the data using sensitizing concepts, then we organized the codes into functional, quality, and emotional goals, and finally we created a motivational model to represent that data. Uh, this image is the motivational model that comes from our analysis and that I will explain in the rest of this presentation. The first theme of the analysis is the importance of the role of the facilitator. The app helped the visitor play this role by providing stimulation to initiate conversations, helping the facilitator guide the user when needed, and having several features that help the visitor play the several roles that they have when interacting with the person living with dementia. The interactions allow the user to enjoy the moment through a joint activity in a common device, and it encouraged creating these shared interactions and experiences. Another important aspect of the app was the stimulation of multiple senses and having open-ended prompts that would allow interactions that are centered in the interest of, person, of the person living with dementia. The second theme of the analysis is the complexity of understanding the individual and assessing engagement in context. Assessing engagement is highly dependent on knowing the individual. Visitors and carers would consider a wide range of responses when assessing engagement for different people. The visitors and carers highlighted that the games help gauge the capabilities and interests of the person. So this would allow developing a person-centered care approach. Finally, Visitors and carers saw that getting to know a bit more about the interests helped to have a valuable shared interaction with uh, the person living with dementia. The third and final thing that links the different aspects we saw in the data is the creation of a shared experience. In order to create a meaningful and positive shared experience, we need to consider the different aspects of facilitation and understanding the individual. 
Technologies for interaction with people living with dementia should be designed for engaging activities with shared interactions that stimulate different senses and that make people feel respected when using it. This model provides several qualities and emotions that can be considered in design. So to finalize, uh, the contribution of this uh, article is twofold. On one hand, we have a methodological contribution in which we're proposing that each project should have a definition of engagement in, in its own context. And we are providing a definition for this context with people living with dementia. And secondly, that motivational modeling is a method that can uh, contribute to the analysis of the data, organizing all the goals into functional um, quality and emotional goals. And secondly, in the evaluation of engagement, uh, we're proposing a model that represents how engagement was enacted in this particular context. And this model shows opportunities for future research and design. Uh, for example, it shows uh, how much we still have to unpack about the concept of facilitation and also about understanding uh, the individual and how important that it is also uh, when evaluating and when using uh, this and designing systems for shared interactions. Thank you very much. Uh, feel free to contact us if you want to discuss our research. And I hope that this inspires uh, to, to use motivational modeling also as a tool for evaluation and also to focus on the emotional goals of, of the users when, uh, when using uh, systems for, for interaction.